Hello all, welcome to eDrawMax. Let's start with understanding what a state diagram in UML is. A state diagram is a diagram used in computer science to describe the behavior of a system considering all the possible states of an object when an event occurs. Now let's see activity versus state machines. In UML, activity diagrams can be used as state machines with some additional notations. The vertices represent the sequence of activities, and the edges represent the transition of completion and commencement of each collection of activities. Now let's compare activity versus state machines. Here's an example to show activity diagram and state machines. Activity diagrams capture high-level activities aspects, whereas in state machines, additional notations capture how activities are coordinated. Under activity diagrams, it is possible to represent concurrency and coordination between activities, while state machines show the possible states of the object and the transitions that cause a change in state. Now let's see the state diagram symbols and components. The first symbol is first state, which is the first state in the process, represented by a dark circle with transition arrow. The next one is event, an instance that triggers a transition, labeled above the applicable transition arrow. This is the guard symbol, a Boolean condition that allows or stops a transition, written above the transition arrow. This is the terminator symbol, a circle with a dot in it that indicates that a process is terminated. And this is a transition symbol, an arrow running from one state to another that indicates a changing state. Now let's see how to draw a state diagram for a bank ATM in eDrawMax. This is how you navigate to UML modeling. On the left pane, you'll see UML modeling related symbols. Drag and drop the first state symbol, which represents the first state in the process. Now let's define the states for each process and also describe the states with descriptions as shown. Once done with drawing states, draw transitions to describe the relationship between them. To depict a transition between two states, we draw a directed line from the source to the target state. Now let's define the transition triggers as shown. Right-click and choose Fit to Drawing to fit the drawing on one page, and choose the white background as shown. Add colors to the states to make the diagram look more attractive. Navigate to the View tab and click on the From Current Page icon to view the diagram in presentation mode. Now let's see some examples of UML state diagrams in eDrawMax. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDrawMax videos. 
please find the link in the description below to try eDraw Max online or to download the software.